One of the state's biggest problems has little chance for a solution, at least if you ask leading Democrats about pay raises for teachers. We also believe that they deserve something else, and that is honesty from their elected officials. House Minority Leader Scott Inman chalks it up to a combination of things. Add election year politics to a struggling economy, and he says you lose hope in the Republican-controlled legislature. My frustration with them is that they put us in this mess, and they refuse to accept responsibility for it, and would rather play games with teachers' emotions in an election year. Well, that's a pretty uninspiring statement. Senator David Holt wrote one of at least three plans out there to increase teacher salaries by $3,000, $5,000, or even $10,000. We've put forward plans that are credible and are funded. Uh, that can get it done. And so I think that um, that's, that's what we're going to be pushing forward on, and we're not going to let naysayers stand in the way. Holt says progress has been written on the wall at the Capitol. It would be a mistake to erase it. If we're just going to give up now, then I don't see why I need to be a senator anymore. That's not the kind of attitude that I bring to the Capitol. That's not the attitude across the street. We always have hope. The president of one of the state's largest teachers unions isn't holding her breath. Many of our legislators say that public education is their top priority, but they don't vote that way when it comes down to it. Teachers say they're in dire straits. They can't afford to wait and go back to the drawing board.